boys and girls. Today we are going to learn about comparison number stories. Now with the comparison number stories, we're trying to compare two things or find the difference, okay? So for a comparison number story, you might find words like more than, less than, taller than, longer than, shorter than, and smaller than. Here's an example. Kelsey read for 15 minutes. Edgar read for 12 minutes. How many more minutes did Kelsey read than Edgar? So we know that Kelsey read 15, right? And we know that Edgar read for 12. So we're trying to find out how much more Kelsey read. So our bigger number minus our smaller number will give us our unknown, our question mark. All right, so let's try and look at what we're gonna be using. This is called a comparison diagram. Now we've learned about part, part, whole diagrams and we've learned about our change to diagram. With this one, this is where we are going to try to compare numbers. Our bigger number will always go here. Our smaller quantity number will always go here. All right, so let's do one together. Let's do an example. Fish A is 14 inches long. Fish B is six inches long. How many inches longer is fish A than fish B? Well, when we're looking at this problem, we see that fish A is 14 inches long, right? And that fish B is six inches long. So we know we want to find the difference. We want to know how much more, how much longer is A. So we're going to go 14 here because there's 14 inches. We're going to do IN for inches, okay? And we know that fish B is six inches. So we'll go six inches. Oops, sorry. Here. Now, do we know the difference between those two numbers yet? We do not. So we will put a question mark right here. Okay, now what they're doing basically is if you look at this picture, this is fish A, 14 inches, and this is fish B, six inches. We are trying to find the amount from the end of fish B all the way to the end of fish A. That's what we're trying to figure out. That's the question mark that we're trying to do. So the difference between them is going to go right here. So let's come up with a number model. Well. We know it's going to be a subtraction problem because with our comparison problems, that's how we will write them. So we are going to go with our bigger number, 14 minus 6 equals, now do we know the answer yet? We do not. So we will put a question mark in our number model. So we could draw a number line if we want to, to show how we find the numbers between, starting with maybe 6 down here and 14 here. What do we have to go to? or you could do um, a stack and subtract, or you can just do it in your head because these numbers are very small. So if I do six plus four, that will give me 10. And I know that four more will give me 14. So the numbers I added together were four and four. So the difference between those two numbers is eight inches. Let's do another one. Joey scored 30 points. Max scored 10 points. How many more points did Joey score than Max? Now let's think of our UPS check. What do we already know? We understood it and we know that Joey has 30 points and we know that Max scored 10 points and we want to find how many more points did Joey score. So we're trying to find the difference between them. So we're trying to find the difference. So if we're trying to find the difference between these two numbers, let's start by putting our biggest quantity at the top. 30 points, and I'm gonna write the abbreviation for points as PTS, period. And then Max's score is 10 points. Now, do we know the difference between them yet? We do not, so what are we gonna put? We're gonna put a question mark. So with our number model, we'll take 30 minus 10 equals question mark. Now, you could do another open number line if you would like, or you can do a stack and subtract. And we're gonna do stack and subtract. 30 minus 10. 30 minus 10, zero minus zero is zero, and three minus one is two. So the total difference between Joey's score and Max's is 20 points. 